Yes. And, uh, there and is we, indeed. We, we missed yes, that. Yes, we checked the manual. We didn't read the instruction book before we started talking, and there is a touch sensor at the top of Dolly's back. Although yes. I've never been able to get that one to work yet. And neither have I. But uh, if we just turn her on her side. Um, so I, I thought there was just this button. Uh huh. Which is the switch, which we were talking about. I can't see it. Pause Sorry. your hand. Um, but apparently, there's a touch sensor here. Yeah. So. So she's got one big button there, normal switch, and two other slide switches here. Yeah. Right. But she has got a capacitive a, touch sensor there. Okay. That we didn't know about that. Right. Okay. So I wanted to say that. One more comment um, on last week's video, which was about touch sensors. Um, was about somebody said I wonder if that's how um, a touch screen works on an iPad is it similar uh, I believe it's uh, pretty much identical yeah capacitive touch sensors um, uh, on an iPad though there's like <coughs> shush Danny oh shush go sleep it knows whereabouts on the area that you, uh, on the glass screen area that you're touching. So it's sort of uh, one array vertically and one array, uh, one array uh, horizontally. It's like I don't know what array means. Um, like a, a, a sequence of, yeah. Like you know, like uh, when you read in a map and you've got grid coordinates down yeah, one that. side and grid coordinates down the other. Mm -hmm. So there would be like a, 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 an array several um, capacitive touch sensor lines on the horizontal and I, on the vertical right. so it would know you were touching at square A1 or square D3 like battleships yeah so uh, just one last thing about this what sort of amount of separate squares would you be talking about so what sort of amount of sort of separate right set um, I suppose sensors? you're uh, talking about resolution of the screen and what the, the Capacitive touch screen. I, to be honest, I don't know. Hundreds, I would yeah, say. If not a lot, thousands. Yeah, a lot. A yeah. lot. <laughs> okay, so this time we're talking about switches. So everybody is familiar with switches as in something to switch on and off. Like a light in your kitchen or yeah, basement. Yeah, okay. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But switches can also be used as a sensor yeah, as well. Yeah, that's right. It, um, yeah. So we're going to be talking about yeah. that as well. So first of all, I think we're going to have to switch her off. Here. Okay, Dolly, we've got to turn you off. We're going to have to switch her off because if we stand See you up, she's going to... Yep. Okay. <laughs> she's in suspended animation now. Right, so if we sit her up, mm -hmm. um, we can look at what switches she has. So she's got, what would you call these? Would you call these a slide switch? Yeah. A multi-position slide switch, yeah. So this one's got three positions. Yeah. It's got on, low volume, and then it's on and high volume. Yeah. And then this switches it from English to French. And those are like click, slide action, slide action switches. Uh huh. So first of all, we'll talk about slide action okay. switches. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, but the very, very basic thing that we want to talk about is what is a switch, first okay. of all? What's happening? When you do this, what's happening inside this robot when you okay. do that? Right, I'll show you with a piece of wire, first of all, yeah? Uh -huh. This is what uh, you might find in the simplest of switches. Um, it's basically two pieces of wire. When the switch is open, the pieces of wire are broken. When the switch is closed, the pieces of wire are touching, so it completes an electrical circuit. So right. that would be off, and that would be on. Mm -hmm. So that's shown in the piece of wire. Now if we look at a 90, lovely 1920s switch, you can almost... So how would you describe this switch? I mean, these, these ones are like slide switches, slide and then switch. we've got a button on mm -hmm, top mm -hmm. so what, how would you describe this type of switch this switch mm -hmm. well this is a switch from i think the 1930s or 40s yeah but the action that you use i would say you it's uh, you would probably refer to that as a rocker switch because it's oh, something different again yeah then. okay and there again you've got a piece of wire that comes in one side and out the other side and that wire is either as i was showing you with this piece of wire it's either open mm -hmm. or 
closed, it's touching, touching. Uh, and you can see that on here. This switch is yes. in the open position at the moment, so the wire comes right. in here through that brass we connector. Get, we need to get closer here okay. to see properly. So let's see. There's a little. So the wire, the electricity. Comes... I'll just show you the pathway first. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is the electrical circuit. Wire comes into the switch. So the electrics coming along yeah. here. Through the brass, through the copper, across here, out of that piece of copper, down here onto that uh, brass terminal and out of that wire. Mm -hmm. Now here, it's either uh, right in the middle of that switch. The, the That circuit is either open, like these two pieces of wire are now, or closed. And that's done by this rocker switch. At the moment, it's open. I'll just operate it a few times. So it's open, closed, open, closed, yeah. open. So we can't closed. really see what's it's happening. It's very difficult to see, but I don't know. Wait, a, I'll go close. I'll go close. There's a, a little piece of. Um, I'll do it slowly. It's a little piece of metal. There's a little piece of metal there that you can see. Yeah, you just you can see you it can can now just on see the it. right okay. hand side moving. Yeah. yeah. Can, do you want to point to it with that stick? You can there? see it. Okay. You can see so it. Uh, you can see it. So it's open. Ooh. Closed. Oh. Open. Closed. There it is. It's not, not really. You're not focusing. focusing. No. Either I'll just touch it and then that should focus it better. Okay. Try again. There we can see it clearly oh, I now. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, we can see it clearly. So that's now. closed. Open. Yeah. So closed. when it's closed, it's touching. It's this touching, piece and it of completes metal. the circuit between the two wires. And yeah. it's open now. The circuit's broken between the two wires, yeah. and it's closed again. Yeah. You, you, so so it can travel from the electricity can travel from there through there and then down yes, through this wire. That's when it's closed. And that and when it's open it can't. Yeah. So that's basically it's the basic principle of a switch. Of a switch. And what, I can understand how that can turn something off and on uh -huh. when it's um when there's a gap between the two wires it's it's not it's all switched off because yes. electricity can't pass that's through right, it. That's right, yeah. But when the when it's switched on, the two wires join, yeah, and electricity passes through it, and so it's switched. Yeah, you on. can think of it maybe like a tap. When the tap's switched off, the water won't flow. When the tap's opened, the water will flow. Okay. Now, these slide switches. What's going on behind here? It's the so okay. when you when you switch this on, is so it's off now. Yeah. And then it's. <laughs> Gone out for it, yeah. so it's got three positions. Yeah, off, put it on the middle. <laughs> on at low volume. Yeah, so leave on it, at high volume. Right, so if you switch it on, <laughs> switch it off. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what's you, happening? There. Yeah. So when you put it on the middle one, mm -hmm. which is on low volume, what's yeah. happening? Well, exactly the same thing as is happening in this switch. Yeah. Or or the, these pieces of wire, except there are more there are more contacts in this switch because it's got three positions rather than yeah two. so what might that look like inside um you probably might see some small electrical terminals uh, just look like bits of white wire copper or brass you wouldn't really see much because um, switches nowadays tend to be uh, enclosed whereas this is uh, i mean this has got its cover off yeah. so this this is this is open and you can see it but it, not not much so, different than this more right. terminals though right. more wires go into so it so when you Press that there. You join in two wires together. Exactly the same as with these. Yes, exactly. And that's cause an electric to run through, which makes the doll switch on. Yeah. Now, when you switch it onto the high position, you're not switching the doll on and off. So, what's going on there? Okay, so you can either a switch can either control the power, uh -huh. which turns which the power on understand. off, just like a light or a refrigerator, mm -hmm. or it can be controlling a signal. Right. And a signal is just a very, very small version of power. It's it's just a signal that allows uh, the microcontroller inside to know where where the switch is. Is it in position one or position two? So you say it sends a signal. What is that like? Well, a, sig a signal is electricity, except it's it's very small. Um, in... Well, so it's like sending a pulse. No, it can be. Uh, I don't want to get too technical, but it, it, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, at some, it's a, a voltage level. Um, it's just a um, a very small amount of power. There's virtually no power involved at all. No. It's just that's why I said a pulse because I understand like a nerve, is. like a nerve impulse, maybe. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's a very very small level of electricity. So a tiny pulse of electricity. It could be a pulse, or it could be a constant value. I mean, if I switch from Position one. 
But it's sending a small amount of electricity, which is telling... It's completing a circuit, yeah. Yeah. And... Okay. I suppose... We'll that. have to leave it yeah. there, but not as much as I can understand. And switching from one language to another language, what's going on there? Um, there again, it's just a signal. So a small pulse of electricity. You could think of it as a pulse or a, a constant level, but it's there's virtually no power, it's just a signal. Right. And, um, so so is it, right, okay. So, so you get different sorts of signals yeah. that the microcontroller can understand. Yeah. And so when it gets a cert, this signal, it's saying... This is the language switch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. Now, so we talked about these ones, but now we've got here what everybody would refer to as a button. Yeah, still a switch. Which is this action mm -hmm. rather than this action. So it's a push action. Push action. Rather than the slide. And I've got a good example of a push action. It's also here. interestingly different in that, in that it's momentarily. It's a, it's a momentary action. That well, is, no, I never thought about if that. If you press it, uh, the switch, the wires would be um, joined together and closed. But as mm -hmm. soon as you release it, it comes out. The wires mm -hmm. would come apart. Whereas these, these hold a position. You click in yeah. position one, position two, yeah. and they stay there. Yeah, because press I this, mean that's got to be constant because this is actually providing power. Well, the first one is the yeah the first. Yeah, the and first one has got to be constant because it's providing power. Yes. I mean, this won't do anything unless you've got the power on. Correct. Mm. So this isn't, isn't like a permanent state. Yes. Like this. It's not a permanent state. Yeah. Good way to put it. It's momentary. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But it's we call them buttons, but it's it's just another form of switch. It's just another form of switch. It's doing Three the switches, same thing. Yeah. It's joining mm -hmm. to... Mm -hmm. um, Two pieces together of wire together. It's completing complete. the circuit, yeah. So this, we were saying that when this goes from low volume to high volume, when this goes from English to French, that is sending like um, a signal, a pulse, which the microcontroller understands. Detects, yeah. Or this is the language, yeah. or this is the volume. Yeah. So when you press that, it's getting a pulse uh, yeah. in the same way. The level will go from, say, zero to one, just to put arbitrary numbers on it. So zero, as it's open now, one, when it's pressed and closed, the microcontroller detects that, takes some yeah. operation, you let go, and it's mm -hmm. back to zero. Now, I'm going to go back to this in a minute because this is it's a little bit more complicated than that, than how you how you can use because you can use this in different ways. But first of all, I've got some other uh, button switches. Now, this is a... That's a more uh, modern switch, this isn't is it? A, this is, I mean, this was a really old-fashioned switch, oh, yeah, but yeah, you can see inside it. I mean, this one's like from the year 2000 onwards. Yes, this was out of um, a robotic toy dog, I think it was. Shall I uh, peel it apart and you're talking yeah, about it? Yeah, might as well take the old thing off. Well, we'll take it apart. It's in two yeah, parts. because it's very simple. This is, that's the circuit so, board. Right, so this circuit board here, what's going on there? Okay, this is just like the wire again. Mm -hmm. Coming in one side. Uh, mm -hmm and out of the other side and you when you say this is just like the wire what what is just like the wire this that what, you're on here? what you're holding in your hand okay what you're holding in your hand this side here is like one side one piece of wire and the other side is like that piece of wire yeah what what this white line no, right okay it's not the white line no it's what the does that look like gold or brass and they look like, oh, they, like they look like teeth. In, mm, they look like interlocking fingers yeah, yeah interlocking yeah. fingers all oh, right okay Yes, yes, I understand fingers. that now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but you can see they're not touching. They're not touching one another. The fingers right. are very close, but oh, they're I not touching what's one another. So um, it's open at the moment. That switch is open or oh. off. Uh, this is a little rubber yeah. contact that goes yeah, on top of it. And on this side of that rubber contact, you can see. Can you see that it's black? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Now that black is uh, <clears throat> slightly conductive, like a conductive carbon. So uh, it, it, it acts sort. like metal in the it acts electricity like metal, yeah. can travel through it. Yeah, so when, when it's pressed down, uh, electricity can travel through it. Yeah, so yeah. when that's on top of there and you press it down, it shorts out that side and that side. When I say it shorts joins out, together. it joins them together. So the switch ah, is pressed. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh. It, 